Yeah, you, my, yeah, give me an inch. Give me an inch. And you like me, bro? Ask me for a seat nice. And like, yeah, you, bro. So. <laughs> no, do it. Are you silly? What? I didn't even know what the intro was supposed to be. Maya Mondays. Hey, yo, guys. Welcome to Maya Mondays. I'm Mr. Maya. This is... Rizal Maya. Rizal Maya. So, guys, welcome to it, man. Maya Mondays. We're doing a 2024 comeback. It's been a minute. When was the last time? Like, it's been a hot 2016. minute. Yeah, the people don't know. They actually, we need, there weren't many episodes of my mind because we were beefing. We're always beefing. I yeah. don't know how long this is going to last <laughs> as well. Look so. Might give um, like two episodes, three. And you know what's the funniest? Because people always like, yo, you know what? I love the relationship that you guys have. Yo, you and Rizana are like the best together. I'm like, psst. You're like supposed. Yeah, we beef like it. Anyway, mm. what are we starting off with? Um, Unpopular opinions. So this is, uh, I've got a couple of unpopular opinions. Let me hear. And then, look. Okay, the you go, I go. It's more about do you agree or disagree? Nothing. Okay. Together. Most women actually want to be housewives. Agree or disagree? I, I low-key agree. Lo- like, a part of me agrees, no. but... Huh? Me need to be a housewife. So now look I don't... I feel like, okay, uh-huh. the, if you that type of woman, they want to, like, stay home, clean the, clean the joint, look after yes. the baby, that is fine, but I don't feel like that's everyone's goal. No, I, I Some get people that. have like goals and passions and stuff they want to pursue. No, I agree with that. But I, I mean, mine is not to stay home and look after a baby and wash Iman's on the all day. Now, Could I never... get that. But now, so, some people, let's say, do women want to compete with what men are doing? Or do they feel that they can also bring something solid to the table? I mean, in today's economy, you have to bring something to the table. If we're being honest. I mean, honest, I feel I like mean, people should always be working. I mean, I'll be, I'll be dead honest. I mean, if your man is making like a crew and crew and yes, that's fine. Then you can, then you can, bomb. yeah. But I mean, if you want a certain lifestyle and this bro can't afford it, what must you do? What bro? must you do? Look at I that. mean, and you both want a certain lifestyle. No, then you for yourself and your children must work, my bro. Okay, that's that's my first unpopular opinion. So, now some people, I mean, you guys can tell us what you guys think, you know, do you like to be a housewife or do you want to be an uh, independent working woman? I feel like there's space for both, but there's definitely space for both. Um, what's your one? Social media is performative, it doesn't matter what anyone says, it doesn't matter how real you say in you being, okay. including us. Okay, don't you think it's slightly performative? It's always performative. I think I, I think it is performative in a, in a sense, but also depend on. The person, are you talking about like a seasoned person in the game? All of us. I feel like all of us, period. I actually feel like the newer ones are less performative because they really don't care. No, that's what I'm They like coming out and just saying and doing whatever that you like. Yo, back in the days, I wish I could have done this and say the cat that you say, but I can't. But I did say those stuff though. You did? (laughs) I'm actually the poster child for saying what I want on social oh, media. Oh, no, so. no facts. Because look so. at the cack that the people say now. Everyone's like, your cack fighting, whatever. When you used to do it, you used to be like, yo, I'm a little for him. Yes. But, but and now it's like, and now it's vibes. Like, and everyone's also trying to assimilate that culture. And like, nah, let's be part of the, say whatever we want and be raw. I'm like, but we did that already. Mm, but you know, you always took it a bit too far sometimes. Yeah, no, I did take it a bit too far. Okay, so that's one. So, okay, I, I think I agree with it. It is performative, but I think to, to, a, to a degree. Yeah. Okay, uh, let's go. I got one here. Close relationships with your exes is a healthy part of life. I think so. You think so? Are you friends no, with some I, of your exes? I, I know all of them still. I mean, um, if I occasionally see them, it's like, oh, hey, how are you? Are you dead? Look, how's the, how's the hubby? How's the life? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, nah. <laughs> Listen. What I, are you saying? I feel like it depends. I, it does depend. It depends. Like if you it saw Brasso before and you slammed together and then you dated and then you broke up, it's like, nah, but you're still my bro. But you're still my bro. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So now I actually had this conversation with someone now just and I was like, I asked him, would you be okay now if, my, if Imad was still friends with his ex-girlfriend that he dated. He don't got exes. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> you don't have exes. <laughs> okay, so, but you get what I'm saying? And like, and like, he wishes I want a boy. No, but our relationships are very really different. Like, my bro, you know him, Ad. Was he like Luke Kinnis back in the days? Yes. The yellow Kinnis. He was in Krombom Park, <laughs> flooded with those. And my wife posted it up, bro. We did <laughs> The man had on his baby straight peak to the back with his jacket on, puffy that ciggy. Look at ever so easy. I was standing by the slide. I was like, meet me by the slide at six. <laughs> and I think the difference is like our family is friends with all our exes. 
Like, oh, our family don't beef him. Yes, it's not like yes, 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 yes. They were yes. in our lives and now they're not anymore. I mean, mm. we can both say both are exes. Your ex is my best friend. Okay. Yeah, that too. Mm. Yeah, okay, okay, so I got you. What's your one? That people place influencers on a pedestal where they are just people who got famous by luck. Not even famous, let's say well known by well, luck. No, As by if they're not just you, normal human beings. I 100% agree. Like, oh. we still can't do anything wrong. Mm. We just got a couple of followers and that's all. What makes us any different to a normal bro a normal that's bro. not on social media? Look, I think it's, you know, when you give too much people of your life and then people start assuming that they, you, you like, you're supposed to be this person, mm. my daughter looks up to you, my child loves you. How can you do that? How can you say that? How can you stand for that? But what about the values that you have? As a person. As a normal person. Like, there's some cack that I, that I probably think. I mean, okay, there is some stuff that we did that is questionable back in the days. Yes, 100%. And like back in the days when people used to like say something, we used to be like, yeah, you saw it, this, whatever. Yes. But you look back at it now and you're like, I was a male now. I was too safe. Now. You know what I mean? I was talking about that. I, you remember I did that, um, the Atia, Atia and I's videos? Oh, and I just stopped gosh. doing it. I just stopped it because mm. it was like, like. You looked at it and you were like. I said it and I'm like, yeah, but after I said it, I don't know how duck that is. I'm like, yeah, I'm a Atia. You know what I mean? Yeah, people are saying clear. I but I definitely think you put you put the people on the pedestal too much, like they're supposed to be perfect all the time. Like, like they're politicians and they can change the world, my bro. You supposed <laughs> yeah, like Like we're trying, but there's only trying. so much you can do. Didn't you tell me about someone that said listen, yeah, they offer themselves? <laughs> <laughs> now listen. <laughs> now <laughs> listen. Look at that auntie was wild, eh? That auntie was wild. It's all about me, me, me. <laughs> <laughs> she not Look, but I, I feel like I'm gonna, I'm gonna to the shit. No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna respect the other standing on business. But as as long as like you know, when someone says I'm a knight, but I'm willing to be the knight, does that make sense? Yeah. As opposed to saying like, I'm, I'm the villain, call I'm me the not villain. I'm actually a knight, but a bro posted a video where he's like, um, add all these influencers need to be blocked. I'm on the block list. He made a list. I'm on the list. Okay. But this bro didn't even block me, and he's telling his followers to block me. Okay. Weird. I'm like. Now you saying you standing on business and blocking people. Why am I not blocked? Why can I still see your video? Because you still must want to be there to peep what you what you're gonna say next. Obviously, like you said, it's performative. It's performative. The reaction you want to hear, you're gonna say getting married solves most of your problems. To cock. You think that? No. That's this, that's your. This is not my unpopular opinion. This is just. One but you're supposed resource. to give me yours. Oh, my personal one. No, this is not my personal one. This is just one I read, and I thought it would be quite an interesting one to bring up. Um, getting married solves most. Maybe the youngsters are getting married today. Assuming that it's going to be like a fairy tale. I mean, they want to must now make it allow. Yes, make so? it allow is one part. But happily, does happily ever after exist after you get married? No. Yeah. Do you think so? Hell nah! <laughs> <laughs> I just like to die, youngsters getting married very fast and I get and I get the part of like, you want to make it allow? Mm -hmm. but, but? Happily, but you still have to live with that person and you still have to. Like, you know what I mean? Would you have gotten married young? Like, Never. say now you or your girlfriend from 10 years ago. Yes. And you were together for five years. Would you have gotten married then? Do you think your life would have been different if you did? A funny story, can I tell you this while we're here? Mm -hmm. So, I was 20 years old. You were with wet this time? My mochi at nah, relax. My mochi at the time said, let's oh. get married. Mm -hmm. I don't think I was ready when she said, let's get married. You were definitely not ready. We were out in Sideshow that time. Was that Sideshow? Sideshow. No, that wasn't even Sideshow. It was before Sideshow. That was the That was when we just moved to Woodstock. Just moved to Woodstock. So where were we going to? We were still We close. had like 20 friends over every weekend. That's what we were doing. So I couldn't get, look, I couldn't get married. I couldn't get married at the time. Um, and then you got married at? 20, was it 28? And you felt that was the right time? No, I don't think it was the right time either. I think... I think that you never know what the right time is. I think it's, it's based on like... Do you think like, you can be happy just like being single and like living? I feel like marriage puts more stress on you than if you're single. Because now you have all these responsibilities that you didn't have. When you like just you dating. What, for me... It's like you must do this and this and this now. Now that for me was, was, was a big thing going from... Imagine being a young person that gets to do it every once mm -hmm. to all of a sudden have a transition to like oh, you i'm supposed to be a hubby now but like, also don't I'm you feel like to, you know what i mean that's what society did 
they like when you husband, you the one who takes out the dirt, you the one who yes. fixes the car and the wife is home cleaning, doing the dishes, whatever. Mm. Who said it's supposed to be like that? I mean, you are both like two adults now. Okay. And you old enough to do your own washing. You yes, old enough 100%. to clean up after yourself. Look, I don't I I, I whatever. don't believe in gender roles. Like like if this guy knows more about cars, she can open the bonnet, bro. <laughs> <laughs> And also other things, that is since you want to keep yourself steak or fruit, if you hear a sound in the yard, you going outside. Hectic. <laughs> Listen, would you go outside if you're, are you sitting in the yard if you hear someone? I'm going to pee through the window. You're going to pee through the window. Yeah, but anyway, so generally, what I'm saying is, if I ask Mark to do, if I ask Mark to do the dishes, then I'll do the dishes. Okay. I don't feel like it's like, there's a mess. There was actually a, a creator who said she stopped doing her husband's laundry, okay. right? She doesn't, on Mother's Day, she doesn't buy his mother gifts anymore. If he didn't contribute to it in any way. Okay. And she doesn't give him fashion advice. Okay. And they do their own laundry and they both go shopping for groceries. Do you think that's fine? Because like, um, social media was going crazy for it. Depends. Everyone was like, you living with a roommate. That's not yeah. your man. You think so? I think, nah. Because I mean, whether or not we're together, you have to make a diet. You have to do your laundry. So now, did you marry me just to do this? No, like, I think, like, if you're a team and you do stuff together, uh, then it was quiet. Mm. Like, it doesn't necessarily have to be you do your stuff, I do mine. And all the That's load like, is just on the one person. Like if you tell me, Medru, Maya, um, we do laundry today, are we safe? I'm going to wash all the stuff, and then you hang off. I'm going to hang off. He's talking cut. Nah, I'm safe. <laughs> In an ideal world You me, would be like that. I would be like it. If you say, listen, let's make a diet, I'm like, uh -huh. okay, I'm going to cook the pasta so long. You just make sure you defrost it. Like, I'll do that. And it'll be fine. We can do it together. Mm. Because I think there's a, there's a cool... So you're not one of those men who's like, I play the balls here. You need to clean. Nah, you know what? You know our daddy. We know we were raised. But our daddy showed us that it's possible to do feminine and uh, masculine roles as society puts them. Mm. But that bro was doing both. Alice. He was going to work. He was driving us to school. And that bro came home. Covering our books. And he covered our books. And he made us a diet. Facts. You know what I mean? And then, and then you didn't know we didn't clean no rooms because that someone was going to make it better. <laughs> but you know, <laughs> but and it wasn't us. Uh, so what I'm saying is, I think from daddy. What did we start off with here? We were talking about um, getting married. Oh, solve most of your problems. so it does not solve. So it doesn't solve the problems. Okay, cool. What well, do you have another one there was? <clears throat> what people say is none of your business. I feel like too many people 100%. put so much. I don't know. He said this about me. That's like me, bro. Why do you care what anyone says? Not in this economy. Funny story, you'd say this, no? Someone Mr. Told Mayor, me. keep your name at my back. Keep your name at my back, Mr. Mayor. I don't want you to talk of me. Why are you talking? Why are you say this? Uh, uh, why would of my life? Listen, I want to make this very clear now, no? This is what's going to be on your platform. Guys, listen here. Yeah. It is a known fact. I'm, I'm going to say fact. Everybody talks cack about everybody. Facts! Facts! From now until the end of time, People are going to talk cuck about everyone. And you know what? Someone probably somewhere right now is saying something bad about me or talking about something I did 10 years ago, five years ago. F matter of fact, last week. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> but I'm not going to be, I'm not going to hype myself about it. But like, hey, did you say this about me? Did you say that? I'm not going to be that brew every time. Because I just Most think times you're not going to be that brew. Yeah, because I'm just like, oh, wait, man, it's fine. Like, Because we know what cuck we love. talk about me. Yeah, like if you and said, yeah, man, it's a nice. Well, what you <laughs> what does it mean? matter? <coughs> but I think I, I, I feel like with, with that thing, it's like everybody, you keep chasing who said what about you as, a, as opposed to. But I feel to, like it's also more about insecurities. Yeah. That you care what people say. But you like know who you are as a person. Why do you care? Yeah, bro, like, anyway, say what everyone wants about me, bro. I'm still out here. Still, be honest, bro. I'm just trying to get this bag, bro, and stay blessed. We obviously upgraded this the show in uh, in some sense, and now we got some videos that we think are like cringy. We're gonna watch them. They're probably gonna pop on the screen. You're gonna get to watch them as well as to what we think about these videos. Is Listen, <laughs> this was like probably when was COVID? COVID was 2019. 2019. Me, you telling me, Majestic, you can't dance. I was like, oh, you push your eight. Huh? Oh, you just a core dance. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this old video and I'm like, I, I posted see, this. I see some okay. people dominating in that scene down.
Rasa dia berarti terlalu heavy dia nak. Tapi buat apa reduction? Terlalu heavy. How was it for reduction? Now listen. Whatever I said about you, when I said you can't, did I want to lie? They wouldn't lie. No, they wouldn't lie. I think it was a delivery. I think it was a delivery. It was a delivery. Not the one. Okay. Let's say. Body shops. Okay. It was definitely a Photoshop picture. Okay, but and I was like, oh, it's not Photoshop. You lie. Oh, but you said it's not. I mean, like back in the days, I used to Photoshop my pictures. You did. Okay. Let's say it was just after putting it, just after cooler, and you know, as someone who has never had. A lot of weight growing yes. up out of nowhere. Like, how do I deal with it? Mm. And social media is wild, my bro. Mm. Yo, you fat? Are you pregnant again? Da, da, da. Yeah. So I was like, instead of getting that comment, let me just. And then I think it didn't. It didn't help you either. Every two siblings like, yeah, you're gonna get fat. You're gonna get fat. You're gonna get fat. Yeah. Didn't. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And now one of yours. Um, it's that one. Mr. Maya goes back to Hogwarts. I don't even remember that one. Do you remember this video? You shot this video. I mean, I did them all, didn't I? Well, a lot of them, yes. The many spells, the Patronum, Expelliarmus, many more. The Cruciatus Curse, Wingardium Leviosa, Expecto Patronum, and then of course the most deadly curse of all time. Yo. Masapushi! <laughs> <laughs> look, why was that so cut funny? That, at the, look, the funny thing is that because I was, you know me too. You some, read all the Harry Potter books. Read all the Harry Potter books, watched all of the movies at the time. So I didn't, I was like somewhat of a, I was a fan, I am a fan, I still grant it, you know what I mean? And to watch it, I didn't think lots of people would have resonated with it. Or like but a lot they of knew, But they did, and it was cut funny because I thought, my bro. No, I think it's funny, he's there. Oh, no, you, the you walked around like that, thinking of the school. Look like a whole pineapple. <laughs> a pineapple. Oh, was that dread? Was stinking already. <laughs> Fun fact: I think I still have those dreads in a packet somewhere. <laughs> People buy that cat these days. You can sell it. Yeah. No cap. Oh, so they tell a voodoo number on you. Brother, stuff's long time vehicle for me. I can actually sell. Anyways, I still got those dreads for sale. By the way, if anybody wants to buy them, they were real. By the way, they were real. They were real. Now people ask me is it fake? Did I did I put it in other girls so long? Remember when you had cornrows? I had cornrows too. I tried even uh, you know I tried it all. Listen, I was thinking, I was like 15 in the jaw, right? Yes. We both have kids now. Yeah. Can you imagine Kura and Kizar in the jaw? Kura and Aya in the jaw at 15. At 15? You were okay with me back then going with you to the jaw. Yeah, Shorter because... skirts, heels. Can you imagine them in the jaw now? Nah, but the world's fucked up now. <laughs> <laughs> it was just as fucked up. We just didn't have social media like that uh, back then. I think you're. I don't know. Like I think you. I don't know. But I look at like Maria and like and I'm like, what's so easy, man? Oh, and I was their be. age when I was doing what I was doing. I think depends. Yeah, I mean, look. I Why were we so? I was so old. Why was I so? Going to the jaw and stuff. I was fourteen, in Chrome. Look at it. Listen. Your brother? Never. I can't imagine Kuro doing that. Imagine you were operating with your brother seven years older than you. That at that age in his life was a fucking recluse himself. So you weren't rich, yeah? I was, I was thinking. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and the people think like as people know us because of social media. Can't we were in the jaw almost every week and we met so much people during that time. During that time. Like and I, we used to skit with our little digital camera. I still have the photos online, lifestyle photography. If anyone's looking at the old photos of you of 10 years and 15 years ago, all their photos still exist. Just type in lifestyle photography. Don't type albums. in lifestyle photography. You're going to find some man <laughs> of either your hubby or your wife because she was in the jaw with us turning up. <laughs> And like mad cock used to happen, our friends used to get arrested on weekends. There was fight, there was arrest, there was sure, there was all that stuff. And it just shows how your digital footprint is there forever. Forever, No yeah. matter what anyone says, people always remember like, someone know you from one video that they don't grant. Nah, that's that night. That you made that video. And you have maybe have grown since then. Since then, I would actually urge you because, yeah, no, that's what some, some ladies will be like, like, yo, she makes you buy a video, but she flux so fell. I say, yo, but I just like, yo, but I just like years ago. But we also don't swear in like in a malicious way. It's just like we use the words as adjectives. You know? You know what? If you don't come from that kind of home, if if, if you come in a home where that thing was always taboo, it's always gonna seem taboo, you know, no matter how we said, because 
you don't know this, but our daddy's cack funny. Listen, my old cack funny. But I say this because... Like, but he's our funny. He's our Someone funny. might not find him funny. Yes. So what I'm, so what I'm saying is that we grew up around that kind of... Energy. Humor. Yeah. And so now my old would be like, ah, man, he's a fucking... You know, <laughs> you know what I mean? And that for us would be funny. So now for us to talk, to talk like it, it's just like, ah, it's normal, man. Mm. But to other people, I get it. Who don't come on that kind of moment. It's like, no, you don't. It's distasteful. It's distasteful, it's distasteful you know. Mm. Swearing is a crutch for conversational cripples. You, know, that, that's right. you never heard that one. Mm-mm. Anyways, uh, you, use, you use swear words to, 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 to kind of get your point across because you don't know how to speak properly. Like you aren't able to actually use, um, use the English language or Afrikaans language. Yeah, but if you, you have like say. a bigger vocabulary like me, I don't say squai. It's just squai. Uh, so we know that, that. But anyway, go on. Yeah. What's um, I, got a, I got another, what's the name? Another another part of this, um, confessions. So not too many of them, but... Nah, I'm going to skip that one. No, oh, come. Yes, it is. No, Don't this is a good one. one. My husband found out about one of my credit cards and freaked out that I owe the bank 1,000 rand. Uh, 100,000 rand. I mean, debt. How do I tell him about the other 250,000 that I also have to pay back? <laughs> <laughs> so the husband freaked out. What would you do in a sense, in, in a sense of, of that? Like, your, your hubby told you, listen here... You found out you got a hundred thousand and did you didn't know. Mm. And then the the confession part is that the fact that you didn't tell you that there's still another two hundred and forty thousand that you still don't know about. That's hectic. Hey, just but he's not gonna do to with me. We're not married in community of property. Not married in community of property. Also oh, he's uh-huh. dead. But look at then well Islamically you still have to pay his debt if you don't. Me? Pay. You must pay As the debt. woman. You must pay his debt. Islamically. If he's gone, Islamically if he's gone, you must pay the debt. You all feel sorry for your wives. I thought, nah, but being honest, he must pay it for you. If anything happens to you, he has to pay it. Oh, he has to pay my debt. Yes. <laughs> He's no more. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but how? Uh, but how would you react to it? I how would you react to it? Yeah. What would you do? I'm like, yo, you cock made, why didn't you voice? Uh-huh. Yo, we fucked now, no? And then? For later. Anyways, you must, must keep well and all the peaceful. <laughs> <laughs> It has nothing to do with I me. I wish you well. Okay, I got another one. Okay, well, I don't know about this. How do you feel about this? Sir? So I broke up with my long-distance boyfriend. Mm-hmm. Firstly, a long-distance relationship still a thing? Yes. I think so. Still a thing. Looks like it. Okay. Yeah, so I broke up with a long-distance boyfriend. So I a text message. He read it and never replied. It's been two years since I sent that message and I still haven't seen or heard from him and haven't gotten a reply on the breaking up text either. I just got left on read. That's not your boyfriend anymore. Move your... on. Two years. Two years ago. and you're still saying... Two years. I think she's more concerned that he didn't hang himself. No, <laughs> the way she says, I haven't seen him. I haven't seen him. I haven't heard. Because you must, like, just think about it. You probably would see your ex online somewhere. What? On if, a video. Okay, but what if he just blocked her? He just blocked her, went on with his life. Would open it's a new possible. account? It's possible. It's very possible. Change his name. I can see you doing something like that. Changing his name. Like just drinking in offline. No one knows who you are. He's just gone. Where's my ex? And remember, you have like an old group of new friends that side that no one knows about. Yeah. So you can't really find him. But Kinnis will definitely find They'll him. They'll find you, okay. Um, Leave that one on the t- that you wrote down. This one? Mm. Well, this, this is one that I also read from here. Mm-mm. I just says I like it when men get all aggressive and turns me on. That's, that's all. That's all it says. So uh, the conf- the, this woman's confession was she likes it when a man... Not fights with her, but likes to fight and stuff. Oh, it's no. Like, like, she likes like the, 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 the angry. That vibes. What's up, Michael Scott? In my master, who's this? Yeah, I slap that one and that one, you know. It, nah, it's a no for me, you know eh? The, you know the Rambo, the Rambo boy? No, your life is worth more. I'm like, you see people acting funny and it's going to be... It's going to roll now we bounce, bro. Listen. What do you want to fight for? Um, what is the reason? So, so, you don't, so you don't find like aggressive men cool? No. Okay, nah, I got you. Like, miss me with that bullshit, bro. Like, I would imagine I'm thinking to myself, I had an aggressive, aggressive woman. You get those, though. My That's yeah. like, in the joint, like, any can. She pushed me, I'm going to make it up. Nah, and you like, <laughs> yo, yeah, this can go again. Come, babe, she go home. Yeah, like, like, that'll make me shy. I don't know. Like, nah, I don't die like this. No, please, you're a fucking night. Oh, you know, like, <laughs> <laughs> you also get the girls as, like, one raw dresser because they know their bark is going to fight. But they'll them. go pick a fight with the brew, like, yeah, you, my, give me an inch, me give me an inch, and you like my brew, oh, ask me for a secret, nice, and like, yeah, hey, you, bro. push, so, start clapping, you, you get females like that in the club, okay. and then it's like, you're going to get the wrong brew, 
We don't go down in there. Who's gonna clap where they? Gonna clap yeah. So now, Paul's gonna now, stay I in. Now, since we yearn, say now I know mm. uh, a gun, or like a girl. I oh, know yeah, we should you know? talk properly. Eh? A girl smacks a bra. Uh huh. Like whatever reasons, ma. Yeah, you don't raise me. Boof. She claps him. If he hits her back, does it make him abusive, or is he defending himself, or is what is what he just did condoned? Yo, I know it's all condoned. Yeah, no matter what. Never change. Be on your ass. Make sure, <laughs> make sure you answer this one correctly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm asking. <laughs> it's my your mind. Remember, this is not the PSA podcast, guys. Like, uh, just walk away. Walk away. Walk away. But I feel like people know when something's going to escalate to something like that. So walk away before it even happens. But these people I'm who just can't. You toast the brand now and he toast you back. Who's wrong, you or him? <laughs> We're both wrong. If he toast your wang. I almost smacked him first. And yes, then and I said, he toast your wang terug. We both wrong. <laughs> but now the people's gonna say because you are old man. Why are you trying to fight me? But then that just, does that not mean that that that, that, that I'm, that I'm a woman and you a man and I shouldn't try to fight you? Yeah, because you're gonna you're gonna lose most. But people like that just can't articulate their feelings properly. So I mean, that's why they now you pants. toast my wang. I'm gonna toast your wang. I mean, that's, that's what, what you did to me back in the days. Yeah, nah, definitely toast your wang. We grew up like that. I'm so If you're gonna Trauma. if you're gonna hit me over my head with a broom. I'm going to kick you on your leg. <laughs> okay, um, I think we're going to do another two more. Another two more, then you can, then you can change it up if you want to. Um, when we hang out at my house, my boyfriend always seems to rather talk to my younger sister when, she, when she's around. He also mentioned multiple times how pretty she is and always says, but not in that way. Would you find that weird? I don't know. Like, how do you mean speaks to the baby sister more often? So, Look, well, I'm considering like this, more than this well, confession. So yeah, she comes over to his girl's house and she's obviously the eldest. What if she just feels like intimidated by her younger, prettier sister? And it's not even that deep, the way she's seeing it. What if he just comes in, he lamb with a talk to her and then he go lamb with her afterwards? Yes. Which is normal. I don't know. That's and just saying, a confession. Oh. Mm, there was actually a TikTok like that where uh-huh. someone said, the girl is pretty. She's beautiful. And people was like, that is perverted. And I was like, you're not allowed to say someone's beautiful. Someone's beautiful, okay. Like, if you look at the picture of Kuro, and you're like, nah, she's beautiful. She's beautiful That's yeah. not like, oh, you pedo. You what pedo. are you? Yes. But I feel like the only correct term would be adorable. If it's like a young girl. Oh, she's so adorable. You know? But beautiful is also fine. It's not like, yo, she's rich, no? Nah, but the bra- some of the brass be like, yo, she's going to be rich when she's big. Oh, that is, that <laughs> is. Uh-uh. That's what's going to be rich when she's big. <laughs> I heard that when I was like, I, but I, 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 I but it, That's like some massive like, side eye. I'm like, that's a bit bombastic side eye. I like, I'm sick, bro, but I get you. I but get I get you. you. Uh, um, he's going to break the girl's heart when mm-hmm. he speak. Yo, you never. <laughs> <laughs> That's going to be a little heartbreak in this one. Do you feel like social media is a bit too sensitive these days? South African social media, definitely. No, I feel like it's all around. I personally, from watching lots of American based content, I think we still have a long way to go to start where we start understanding that. Um, hey, nobody give a fuck out there. Listen, do you think that it's okay that South Africans take on, like, American history? American you know, like, history. we can't say the N-word, right? As colored people. Who said so? It's like, a, the, that debate is there. No. But it's, in America, color is a derogatory term, right? Yes. So we can't be like, that is a de- the N-word. Mm-hmm. Is it that term for them? And ours is colored. Hey, bro, but like, I'm going to agree with that, bro. I grew up on the big end, bro. And I say this all the time. I grew up on. on and I feel there. like we use it as a term of endearment more than anything else. Then, yeah, like, a diss at someone. No, but it's not possible for. Uh, I think it's a cool thing to say. Like, maybe, bro, like, Louis You are going to get cancelled for this. Louis Maniga. Louis Maniga. Call his Maniga. That's Maniga Joe. You know what I mean? I think it's, it's a term of endearment, definitely. So definitely. you feel like we shouldn't take on the. Look, Let me see, like. I think we are bombarded with Western culture regardless. Don't you think? Like, if everything we watch, like, I mean, even if you think of, even if you think of stuff like this podcast, video, mm. it's, it's somehow um, American culture has permeated its way into South Africa. It's from the TikToks, from all the time. Yeah. I mean, you can go all the way back. We grew up on listening to 90s hip hop, R&B, watching movies. I mean, we watched the Tupac movie, we watched the Juice, we watched, you know, Above the Rim. We watched those movies, Boys in the Wood, Menace to Society. Do you know they want to cancel Leon Schuster? I mean, he's retired already, but they want to cancel him. How they do you feel about that? Leon Schuster. Mm. I actually read about that. They said because the stuff that he did was like racist. racist. 
Stop stop like was racist. Um fuck, I think Lu I think Leon's funny, bro, man. I feel like Leon's, he's so easy to say it. Leon's funny. <laughs> Leon's cat funny. But um And did we not all watch him and laugh? You know what? So if you if we like it's like saying this, imagine this Luena. Alright? We must now hold Eminem accountable for everything he rapped about when he when you because Eminem was like supposedly homophobic. Mm-hmm. Everything he rapped about, he was he was anti guys. Anti guys. Do we all love Eminem today still? Yep. Look, he kind of fell off a bit, but I mean, we still grant him. I I play the real from Shady, but now that it's, they asked even they asked um, Snoop Dogg. Mm-hmm. They asked Snoop Dogg. The stuff that you talk about women back in the days when you used to call women bitches, would you go back in time and change it? He, he said, said no. He said no, I wouldn't because that's who I was at the time. Okay. So I'm saying Leon understands the world was in a different place right then, which might gave him access to do the things that he did. But regardless of that, it was funny cut because I don't think he hurt anyone. Mm. I personally don't think so. Maybe if you watch it, because if, and just remember to be on camera, you have to sign the NDA or like you know whatever. Yeah, some, they have to give the release. Like the release. Can I can I be on the video? Yeah, you can be in the movie. And the problem got a cool one also. I wonder. Eh? I'm sure Leon, you had to pay that means and it's cut funny though. Anyway, um, um, how do you feel about people fighting on TikTok lives? Fighting on TikTok lives. Or TikTok period, like going back and forth with videos. Look, I'm of the opinion that people believe that you have to re- you have to retell it. I've 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 read and seen videos. I've seen people badmouth me or say something about me online. I'm never gonna respond to them. I don't respond. I don't have time to respond to you. I'm too busy because you aren't that much important to my life. And you you have to be that important. And if it was that, and if I knew you on that level, I'm rather gonna come talk to you face to face in person. I don't feel like the world need to know what I'm about to tell you. Mm. If someone happened to catch wind of it and record it happening, then that's that. But I'm not gonna go on. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna go online and and and, and be that bro. But I feel like when you respond, it just fuels the fire more. Cause yeah. like if you don't respond, it just dies out. No one cares about it next week. But it's, I mean, if you keep responding, it makes it a thing now. Yeah. Cause when you do, when you don't respond, like ah, you're not a host. Did I said something about you. You're not gonna say something back. I'm like yeah, but you want that for your entertainment. Yeah. You don't want that because you. You want you. You want to background because otherwise you'll probably message that person. But I'm like ah, oh, yeah, I don't think it was daily. Look what you just did, my bro, man. Like we can say we can say that. Look. At the end of the day, it bleeds, it leads, you know, violence and, and drama sells. Mm-hmm. So why do people do it online? I don't know. Maybe they smack more views. Maybe, maybe they smack, they, they smack something raunchy. If some, maybe, because everyone knows now, like we said, it's performative. Yeah. If you do some, if I stray with you online, it's, more people's going to watch it. Even if you and me stage this no more, I go live and I'd be like, yeah, fuck you, Razan. You're like, yeah, fuck you, Mr. Mayer. Everyone's like, did you see the two the brother and sisters beefing? Facts. We, we could do that. We could do that. I, I could I could I could orchestrate fake beefs with well, everyone to be. You know, put the subliminal thing when your brother does that. Da, da, da. Everyone's like, I what did you see? What did you see about the brother? So, but I wouldn't do that because I I'm not. I don't grant that I'm kind of attention. Mo- yeah, it's like, like attention. And I feel like a, 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 a fucks up your whole thing, man. Like in terms of life, like people might think like you're becoming famous. But, but you're famous for the wrong but things. Who, but who, who really wants to like be in the same room with you? I'm not even talking about brands now. Yeah. Like, nah, I mean. Because I don't know what you you're now going to say later. Like, negative and cut, man. Mm. I'm done. Fuck, so I so fighting online, nah. But also, that is like your audience now. Your audience is people who just thrives on drama and likes drama. So the moment you step out of that and maybe you try to do and music or whatever, no one cares. They're like, talk cack about Majestic. Talk about yes. I, don't, I don't care about you, what you're doing in your life. Talk cack about them, man. Yes. And also... People like to make other people mouthpieces, no? Mm, for the stuff that they wish they could say. Yeah. So it's almost like if I thought my whole life was on and I, mm-hmm. no? When someone else is like, oh, 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 rechso, oh, weise, waarheid, truth, be told, preach, sister, louder for those in the back. And, and like, it's yeah. the people that's in your DMs that will comment the same. facts. Oh, I facts, heard. big facts, no cuck. Well, you always knew I never grand. <laughs> Give me two truths and a lie. Two truths, like anything. Mm. Anything at all. Like, and then I'm like, that's such a, such a vague question. Two truths and a lie. About yourself. About myself? Yeah. Two truths. Um, give me one so I can have like an idea of like, oh, what do you mean? Like, around what Ellie? Um, okay. You must guess. But I, you can't guess for me. Yes. Because you'd know. Like I could be like, my oh, dad is Muslim and my mom is Christian. Um, I went to like 10 different high schools uh-huh. and I eat bacon. Okay, so, so you mean like, um, you're not getting, they must decide. 
Yeah. You can answer first. You don't answer first. What do you think? The two truths and the lie is. Okay. So well, let's see we could answer for each other. Uh -huh. So go. What's your two truths and a lie? Um, I love listening to Britney Spears. <laughs> <laughs> you must go and start off like that. <laughs> <laughs> let's go to truth and a lie. Mr. Oh. Mayor. Truth and a lie. Two truths and a lie. Two truths. Two truths and a lies. Okay, I've got um, I've got three children. Mm -hmm. I've got three kids. Um, my real eye color is green. And <laughs> I'm, I'm trying. I'm trying. <laughs> you can't see my eyes are green, right? Yeah. Anyways, that's not the point. I'm 32 years old. Mm -hmm. I've got three kids and my real eye color is green. No, what did you say? That is three That's truths. Three truths. Well, this nice color blind. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I wasn't listening. You didn't pay attention in class. You know what? You didn't pay attention. Get out of my class. We move to the next thing. I got one thing. I got one thing before we're gonna go. No, it's called I'm that song. I think I'm gonna add this into the podcast, but. That's cool for my Monday. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna just two songs. I'm gonna hum it. You must tell me what song it is. You can hum a song, and I must tell you what it is. Okay. What song is this? Okay. Um. Don't know. Give me some caca. I don't know. Something. Okay. Something like more recent. Um. Uh, uh. Mm -mm -mm -mm. They're not like us. They're not like us. Okay. You see that? Okay. Your easy one. That was very easy. So because I didn't like go all the way mm. back in time. Now you give me one. Takalani say to me. What did, why did you think about that? I don't know. Okay, go another way. I'm that song. Um, I got one. Um, let me think. Let me think. Okay, since you since you went there. Um. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Topsy, la la. Remember what's the name? Until it tells me. Cool cat, mm. we are the cool cats. Oh, that's an EDV classic. But now, okay, now now just two songs, and then we can end it. Then we can, then we can start end it. That, start the lyrics. I'll see if I can end it. Is it? You think you can do that? Okay. Um, nowadays everybody wanna talk like they got something to say, but, but nothing comes out when they move the lips. Just about the gibberish. You can't not go so far into the song. Like, give me like a bar. Okay. Don't go like. Okay. First off, fuck you. And the click you claim, where's I when you ride coming in? Uh, uh, you, you claim, claim to, to be, be a player, player but I fuck your wife! <laughs> <laughs> anyway, okay. guys, we see. Oh, we're done. Oh, we're done. Oh, we're done. You want to go one nice. more? Okay, one you more. Give one. You give me one. You give me one. When I die, fuck it, I want to go to hell. Because I'm a piece of shit. It ain't hard to fucking tell. It don't make sense going, going ahead, but with the goody goodies dressed in white. I like black teams and black hoodies. Ow!